Hi there, this is Harry and welcome back to Advanced English Lessons with Harry where I try to help you to get a better understanding of the English language. If you're trying to prepare for those proficiency exams or indeed if you're trying to get ready for a job interview and you need to speak better English, well, you've found the right place. We're here to help you. Okay, so as I said, this is an advanced English lesson and in this particular lesson we're looking at adjectives and we're looking at 20, yeah, 20 adjectives to describe physical appearance. As you know, I really believe in one-to-one -one lessons as a great way in which you can improve your language skills, in particular English. So let me just take a few minutes to talk to you about Preply. Preply is an online tutor platform and they have lots and lots of native tutors in Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, English of course, and over 50 different languages. In fact, they have over 32,000 individual tutors available for you to select from. So you can use their filter to narrow down the search to make sure that you get the tutor that's the perfect fit for you. They're available on desktop and mobile apps. Preply is the complete solution for effective language learning, a one-to-one -one tutor platform when you can actually learn how to communicate a language faster. Self-learning a new language can be frustrating. It is difficult to stay committed without the guidance of an expert tutor and without someone to correct your mistakes and provide you with feedback. With Preply's 100% satisfaction guarantee, they will replace the first tutor that you select with a free tutor if for any reason that tutor doesn't meet up to your expectations. So don't you think it's about time that you tried Preply? Make sure you click on the link in the description below to get your 50% reduction in the first lesson that you purchase with Preply.com. Thanks Preply for sponsoring this lesson. Now, when we're describing people's physical appearance, we usually in general terms use words like short, tall, of average height, fat, skinny. They're the sort of general words we use and they're fine for that particular purpose. But if you want something a little bit more adventurous or if you want to describe people you know or people you see, then you might want to have a look at these more advanced adjectives. So when we want to be a little bit more particular in our description and you'll find these sort of words very, very often in the written format, okay? So you can use them quite easily in your conversational English. Now, as I go through the, the list of these particular adjectives, I'll let you know if one or two of them, you have to be careful who you use them with because some people could take offense with some of the words. And in the modern world of being PC or non-PC, that means to be politically correct or non-politically correct, where people might be offended or take offense at some of the words, you just have to be a little bit more careful. So I'll give you a warning in relation to them. You still have to know these words because they are used quite freely and quite openly. Okay, so let's start with people who are lighter in size. And, and again, just be careful here because what we're talking about in relation to people's size or that what we call the frame, the actual body of the person. So when we talk about people who are lighter, we can talk about lanky, yeah? lanky. Now a lanky person is somebody who's very tall, but very skinny. And it usually describes somebody who perhaps shot up in their when they were 14, 15 or 16 in their mid or early teens and you know they didn't put on a lot of weight and we all know somebody we went to school with who we could describe as lanky. In fact, we used to call them a bean pole. Yeah, somebody tall and skinny like a bean pole or lanky. Another word for skinny is spindly and S-P-I-N-D-L-Y. You'll see the written format of this uh, on the screen, so the pronunciation spindly. And often we use it in relation to somebody's legs. They had spindly legs, a little bit like a spider, long and skinny and all over the place, spindly legs. Feeble, feeble is a word we use to describe somebody who's quite weak, yeah? A feeble body or a feeble mind, sometimes are described as, but if we're talking about specifically somebody's body, feeble is somebody who's undernourished or old with not many muscles, so they haven't kept themselves fit. So as they have got older, 
their body has deteriorated and they are not so strong. And we might say a good wind would blow them away. Yeah, so somebody feeble. Make sure you click on the link in the description below to get your 50% reduction in the first lesson that you purchase with Preply.com. Delicate is a little bit different because Delicate doesn't really have anything to do with age. It has everything to do with this shape and the frame and the body mass that you have. So if somebody's delicate, it just means they're not very strong. Okay. Now it can be permanent in the sense that somebody just didn't develop or they didn't take care of themselves and they have a delicate body and they're always sick or they're always breaking something. So they're quite delicate, but you could always have a temporary when somebody wakes up when they've been enjoying a Christmas party, for example, the night before and they wake up the next morning, they might describe themselves as I'm a little bit delicate today. So it won't last more than a few hours or a day, but Delicate in a permanent situation means that the body isn't so strong. Frail. Now, frail very definitely has to do with age. And generally, as people get older, their body becomes more and more frail. They lose body mass, they lose muscle definition, their bones may appear to be sticking out, they may have a calcium deficiency or something like that. And yet they are frail. And if they fall over, particularly uh, women of a certain age, and they're likely to break a hip or break a, a leg or an arm or, or some particular bone. So they can be described as frail, the frail old lady, or my granny is very frail these days. You have to be very careful when you help her up that you don't actually bruise her arm because she's quite frail. Okay, so if I could just say to you, if you do like this particular lesson, then please like the video. And if, if you can, please subscribe to the channel because it really, really helps. Slight is again a word referring to a light framed person. Very slight means skinny or underweight and somebody who's not necessarily based on their age, but they've got a slight frame or a slight build. So there's not a lot of muscle definition. They could obviously be healthy, but just they don't eat a lot or they're one of those people who they, even if they do eat a lot, they don't put on weight. So their frame or their body is slight. Gaunt is the next word and gaunt relates to our physical appearance, particularly around the face. So if somebody has been sick for a period of time and spent time in hospital, perhaps they haven't eaten because they've had a really bad illness. So when they come out of hospital, somebody might look at them and say, wow, he's really gone. So his cheeks are sunk in and his skin is white or yellowy. So he's rather gaunt and he needs a really good uh, rehabilitation, lots of good food and perhaps some nice fresh sea air. So gaunt. Bony generally describes somebody who just typically is bony. They don't have a lot of muscle on the body. Yeah, you know, they look like a bit like a skeleton and they got, you can see the bones sticking out in their, particularly in their prominent bones, like on their shoulder or on their elbows or even on their legs. And they say, oh, he's really bony. He's not very strong or there's not much muscle on him bony. And then skinny. Skinny just means somebody who hasn't put on weight or doesn't put on weight. And they, you know, they, they can wear these really skinny jeans and slim fitting shirts. I really hate those people. And they, they, they have no tummy. They've no love handles. So they are just skinny. And then we have decrepit. Yeah, decrepit. Now be careful with the pronunciation and the spelling of this. Decrepit refers to old people, particularly things that have got old over a period of time and have depreciated or have gone downhill. So the decrepit old man shuffling along the street with a big heavy coat. His, his walk was slow and ponderous and he shuffled along the street. So we can refer to him as decrepit. Buildings can also be described as decrepit, a row of decrepit houses that are falling down. So people who are decrepit are a little bit like that as well. 
Okay, so those are the words describing people who are a little bit lighter than average or a little bit lighter than normal. So let's switch to the other side and look at people who are a little bit heavier. Now, this is certainly where you have to be careful. People don't mind being called skinny or frail or delicate, but if you're referring to them being a bit heavier than normal or heavier than usual, yeah, then you really do have to be careful and make sure these are friends that you're talking about. So we can be plump. Okay, plump can often describe young children that haven't developed yet. Okay, so they they are plump for a few years because they they've just fed a lot. They haven't had a lot of exercise. Maybe they were sick as a child and they put on a little bit of weight. So as soon as they get to school and start running around and cycling around, they lose that baby fat and they, the plumpness disappears. So plump is an overweight child. Corpulent. This is quite a formal word, corpulent. Corpulent usually describes the heavy businessman who's had one too many corporate lunches and has enjoyed lots of rich food and wine to go with it and the rolls of fat are underneath the, the collar of his shirt and he's got a, a large double chin and fat around every part of his body. That would certainly be somebody described as corpulent, big and fat. Like the old religious paintings from the Bible that you would see in museums where the men and the women were painted and depicted as very heavy, not skinny at all. So those bodies would be described as corpulent. Stout. Stout re usually refers to a man, but not always, but usually to a man. Stout means heavy, fat, Okay, perhaps somebody who's been drinking more beer than they should and they get a rounded or what we call a beer belly and that can be described as stout, the stout man. So you'd know and describe him quite well. He's not skinny, he's not lean, he's not fit, he's stout. He's got a beer belly and looks a little bit too fat or overweight. Hefty. Hefty is a little bit more informal than stout and corpulent and hefty can relate to any person yeah so but it does mean that the person has got a lot of excess weight they're carrying a lot of excess weight and uh, oh i usually get a little bit hefty during the winter i put on my winter coat means i eat a little bit more than i should uh, i maybe have one glass of wine more than I should and I don't have so much exercise because it's cold or just don't like going out in the cold weather. So you could be a little bit hefty over the uh, winter months and you try to shed those extra kilos spring and summer. Hefty. Husky. Now husky, I have to confess here that I don't use husky to describe the shape or the, the form or the frame of a, a person's body. You can use it and I'll, I'll explain it now. But husky often has to do with somebody's voice. When somebody has a husky voice, it's deep and can often be described as sexy and masculine, yeah? A husky voice. But when we describe somebody as having a husky frame, it's usually very well built, you know, very athletic. Yeah, women in particular would like to look at somebody with a husky frame. Burly. Well, burly, it's not fat and it's not corpulent, but it is bigger than you should normally be. Yeah. So, you know, if you're looking at the front row or the, what they call the, the pack of a rugby 15. So if you don't know rugby, well, look at the French or the British teams, the Scotland, England, Ireland, Wales, whoever it happens to be, and you look at the guys with the numbers on the back, one, two, three, those guys, you would be burly, yeah? So very round, quite heavy. Now they're very fit, but wow, you wouldn't want to be hit by those guys. So they're burly, big, strong, heavy set people. Sturdy. Sturdy has a lot to do with strength. When somebody is sturdy, they're strong, they're not easily knocked over. Yeah, so he's a sturdy young man. Okay, so he's, he's very solid. He might be getting a little bit heavy, but he's not fat and he's not stout, 
but he's certainly sturdy. He's got strong, thick legs and arms and shoulders, so very strong. And, you know, it could describe somebody who's perhaps hasn't grown very tall, but instead of growing tall, he's grown out a bit. So he's got a, you know, a bit of width to him there and could be described as sturdy. Robust. Well, a person who is robust can stand up to certain knocks. So again, a bit like sturdy, robust can be used to describe somebody with a bit of meat on them. You wouldn't like to you know, bounce off them because they, it could be quite painful. So they, they are robust, strong, tough, and uh, again, not overweight, but, but very, very heavy. The next word is voluptuous. Now here we have to be really careful because this is a word that some people might see as offensive. So we have to be careful who we described. But if you've been watching movies and you, if you, well, if you're my age, you'll know the actress. But if you're younger than me, then you might have seen the movie recently about Marilyn Monroe. She is what I would describe as a voluptuous woman, and it's all to do with their body shape. Women of a certain with a certain shape body look like Marilyn Monroe, you could describe that as a voluptuous body. Okay, so I, I don't have to say anything else. But be very careful because some people could take offense and feel that you're being more than caustic or that you're passing remarks that you shouldn't or you're getting a little bit too personal. So you have to be really, really careful. And then finally, the word chubby. The chubby girl. Again, people can be a little bit insulted if you call them chubby. Usually the word chubby has to do with children, a chubby baby. So babies who have a lot of milk or feed a lot or cry a lot. So the mother feeds them to keep them quiet. They end up getting lots of fat around the, the wrists and the legs and the thighs and particularly the cheeks of the face. So we can say, oh, chubby cheeks. Yeah? So a little bit of fat. And of course, they grow out of that. They stretch and uh, everything will be okay later on. But when they're young babies, oh, he was a chubby baby or she was a chubby baby. So describing that type of baby fat that the babies generally have. Okay, so there we have 20 particular adjectives to do with body shape. Okay. Now, as I said, they're all to do with the shape and the frame, and you can use these, you'll see them written down, you'll see them in books, you can use them to describe people that you see, but you have to be really careful that you don't do it in any way that's insulting. But you'll certainly get the idea from the, the words I've given you and the pictures that I've shown you to give you the general description of each of those words. If you need to contact me, if you need some additional help with the words or explanation, then get in touch with me and I'll certainly try to help you out. So you need to practice those particular words, pick out a few of them in relation to the ones describing somebody who's lighter or ones describing somebody who's heavier and just see, have a look through the internet pictures that you can use to describe those type of people. Okay, well, this is Harry thanking you for watching this particular video and join me for the next lesson.